Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, kumusta kayo dyan na naka-lockdown sa kanilang mga bahay? Uh, at saka nagsisel-quarantine sa kanilang mga bahay. Okay, so today we're gonna be uh, continuing our discussion on the poultry production and management. But before that, uh, let me recall uh, what we have uh, discussed last time. So last time we discussed about the... Uh, the uh, chicken breeds or stocks to raise and what are the major considerations in choosing breeds or stocks of chickens to be raised okay so uh, we look into the different uh, major uh, traits by which we uh, we considered as basis in selecting uh, stocks of chickens or breeds of chickens to be raised and today we'll be continuing with uh, methods of selection so the first one we have uh, uh, the first method of selection we have the individual selection okay so this is the first method of selection so in individual uh, selection a bird may be saved or culled depending on the desirability of its individual records so when we select individual uh, chickens or the stocks or breeds of chickens to be raised let us look at the uh, individual records or maybe on the pedigree or the records of its ancestors of the chickens okay the effectiveness of individual selection is determined by the heritability of the character for which individual selections is practiced so uh, we look into the uh, degree of heritability of the traits being considered for selection uh, just like in previous meeting, there said there are some uh, heritability index of different traits. For example, uh, the uh, the number of eggs produced. Uh, what is the uh, uh, heritability index for that? Or uh, the body weight? So, what is the heritability index of body weight compared to the uh, uh, number of eggs produced? So, in every traits, there is a corresponding heritability traits. Okay, uh, the greater the heritability, uh, okay, so for example, if the body weight has a greater uh, heritability compared to the number of eggs produced by a layers. So, if you are to consider the weight, so look at the heritability of the weight is greater compared to the number, the number of eggs produced. In general, Individual selection will be quite effective for traits that are 20% more heritability. For example, body weight, egg weight, shell quality, rate of feathering, and sexual maturity. So, so they have their own uh, heritability index. Okay. So another another uh, methods of selection we have the family selection. So in fall tree breeding, a family originally refers to a group of sibs or half sibs. Okay, a group of uh, full sib means birds from the same sire and dams. So, uh, full sib means so they have the same uh, male and female parents. So they have the same sire or the male and the dams or the mother. So, uh, full sib. Uh, so, while uh, the group of half sibs means birds from the same sires with different dams. So, look at the difference between the full sibs and uh, half sibs members of the family. Okay. Average performance is the average or percent performance of the members in the family. So look at this, the average performance. So egg production, hatchability, fertility, and viability are fairly low heritability and could be effectively improved by family. Okay, so uh, egg production, hatchability, fertility, and viability have a fairly low heritability compared to body weight, egg weight, shell quality, rate of feeder feeding or sexual maturity 
So, mas, mas daghan o heritability index ito kumpara sa egg production, natchability, fertility, viability, or fairly low heritability and could be effectively improved by a family. Okay? So, look at this is the uh, family selection. So, still in family selection, selection of males and female hens for the breeding flocks is very important. The first step in poultry breeding and poultry breeding work is the selections of male and females to be used as breeding stocks. No? So, the selection is based on if we are to choose the mother and uh, father of our uh, chickens. So, we have to consider it into the health of the stock. We are going to choose the health. And of course, the breeds and strain of the breeds, the breed and strain characteristics. So, ano yung mga mga traits nila, ano yung mga kinaiya sa mga manok ng atong pilion. And also, we try to look into uh, the production characteristic. Dagan bag itlog, dagko ba sila, no? Okay. So, when we are looking to the character such as the health condition, so the breeding stock should be. Uh, uh, we try to look into the disease of birds or too fatty. <laughs> so, we are, if we are to look into the head, so look at the bad color of combs, uh, combs regar irregularity of the pupil of the eye, silver or blue color of the eye, deformity of beak. So, we have to, kung mayroong mga ganito, so it should be not considered for selection. Ang neck, so crook neck, so it should be, uh, should not be a crooked neck, ang, ang pilion. So this is the culling standard for breeding stock. So for health condition, pag disease birds or too fatty, culled. If the head had a bad color comes, regularity of pupil in the eye, silver or blue color of the eye, the variety of the beak, then that chicken should be culled, not included for breeding stocks, if the, if the neck is crooked, then do not select that. Should be uh, culling. Should be uh, should not be included in the breeding stocks. So we have some culling standard for breeding stocks. For example, the body weight. Uh, so the body weight. So corb backbone. So do not consider the bird with a corb backbones. Caldeon, bent, yang lubot, uh, bent dipteria, pag mayroong bent dipteria, hindi kasali. Ang legs, pag weak ang legs, pag mayroong perosis, so do not include that in your breeding stock. If the feeder has a delayed feedering, so do not consider that in your breeding stock because it is costly in terms of brooding. Do guys siya magkakaroon ng balahibo. Growth. Pag poor growth, so do not choose that as part of your breeding stocks. Egg production, non-lear and low producer, uh, particularly if you are to choose uh, or the purpose of your production is for egg production. So non layers and low producers should be ex excluded in the breeding stocks. Egg size and quality, small and large size. So small eggs and large size, poor or poor quality should be discarded as member of the breeding stocks. Molting, yung pagpalit ng balahibo. If he be molting, ibig sabihin, if most of the uh, feeders will be mostly removed, then do not consider that stocks for molting. Okay, another uh, culling standard for breeding stocks. Separating layers and layers, comb large, smooth, bright, red, and glossy. For layers, you have to choose this one. And non layers, dull, dry, shriveled, or scaly. If the comb is dull, dry, shriveled, and scaly, do not include that for your breeding stock. Okay, if we can observe this one on the comb, and face if uh, bright red. Uh, that's good for a uh, layer then try to consider that to be included in the breeding stock if uh, yellowish tint and color ng face that is a non-layer then do not include that in your layer stock if the vent ang lubot 
lard, smooth and moist. Uh, include that as your reading stock, that's good. If the vent is shrunken, puckered and dry, do not include that in your uh, breeding, particularly in layer stock. Sa pubic bones, yung buto na malapit sa kanyang puwit. So it should be thin, pliable, spread apart. So choose that. This is good characteristic of layers. But if the pubic bones is blunt, rigid, close together, do not include that in your breeding stock because that is non-layers. The abdomen should be, for a layer, should be full, soft, and pliable. That's fine. But when the uh, abdomen is contracted, hard, and fleshy, that is not good. So try to cull out uh, those chickens with this kind of uh, uh, characters. So there are some. No? Uh, another, uh, we have the culling standard for breeding, breeding stocks, separating high and low producers. So bent is bluish, high producer. If the vent is uh, yellow or flesh yellow, uh, that is a brief playing or a low producer. So try to look at in this. Okay. Ayan. Okay, these are all the characteristics of chickens when try to retain or exclude it from the from the stocks or the breeding stocks. Okay. So next we have the mating method. Uh, for producing chickens, of course, uh, we have particularly for those chickens uh, used for layers. So there must be a breeding that has to be done, particularly for a breeder, uh, breeding farm. So we have the first method of mating, we had a pin mating. So in a single pin mating, a pin of 8 to 12 hens in one male so maximum of 12 uh, female with one male in a pin mating system of methods of breeding uh, uh, methods of mating the birds are trap nested okay and the hens wings band number is recorded on an egg the systems makes it possible to know the parent stock of every chick hats from the pin mating so I mean to say uh, ay yung mga itlog na naproduce should be uh, should have, should be tagged should be uh, have a wing band number indicating from which this uh, particular egg uh, has been produced so which is the parents which is the male and which is the female so merong mga labeling no, para mailhan kung kinsa ang mga ginikanan aning mga manuka so another method of mating, we have the artificial insemination. So the system of breeding works. So the systems of breeding works. Hens are kept in cages. So nakakulong. Flock mating means that the number of males are allowed to run with the entire flock of hens. It is used. It is to use one male for 10 to 15 hens. Young males are more active than older males. So look at the difference between pin meeting and the flock meeting. So sa flock meeting, maraming ratio ng hen to male ratio compared to sa pin meeting. So the hen to male ratio is 10 to 15, a maximum of 15 in uh, flock meeting, but only a maximum of 12 hens in one male of rooster in a pin meeting okay so these are the different methods of meeting we have the pin artificial and flock meeting uh, next is the eggs for hatching so of course the eggs used for hatching should be a fertile egg there must be a meeting between a male and female so that the eggs consider as fertilized, particularly in the breeder, breeder farm. But of course, uh, we can produce eggs out from the uh, just feeding the layer. It would produce uh, unfertilized eggs. Uh, so the table egg. Okay, in hatchability percentage of above sixty-five percent of all eggs, of all egg sets are to be obtained and it's generally considered to be satisfactory percentage 
so 65 above 65 percent of hatchability so just be fine and it's okay and considered satisfactory uh, then the care must be given on the selections of suitable fertile eggs in their handling before and during incubation so those that will be subjected for incubation uh, only those uh, fertile eggs okay okay fertility depends on a, depends fertility depends very largely on the number and viability of the sperm produced by cock and on the time relationship between mating and ovulation so if it, fertility depends on the number and viability of sperm okay so the more viable and the greater number of sperm the more fertile is the egg and it is affected by again that fertility is affected by fertility of egg is affected by the uh, uh, number and viability of the sperm produced as well as on the time relationship between mating and ovulation okay the time of meeting also affects the fertility of the egg. Fertile eggs can be laid within 30 hours of meeting. So after 30 hours of meeting, so the egg uh, will be produced. Sperms may be uh, sperms may retain their viability in the female tract for as long as 32 days. So when the sperm has been deposited in the uh, in the female reproductive organs it could uh, remain viable for more than for as long as 32 days but the usual range is 11 to 14 days but it could reach us up to 32 days okay newly laid eggs should remain firm for uh, again newly laid eggs should remain for uh, for hatching for up to seven days provided they are kept at a temperature of 12 degree celsius of the five Fahrenheit and uh, the relative humidity of 60 to 70 you know the newly laid eggs should remain firm for hatching for up to seven days provided they are kept at the temperature of 12.5 degree celsius or the 55 degree Fahrenheit and at relative humidity of 60 to 70 percent if egg are not to be incubated immediately then some probation must be made for their storage at a lower and normal ambient temperature and preferably within a range of 10 to 21 degrees celsius that is 50 to 75 degree fahrenheit so care must be exercised in the selections of egg for incubation too small which is less than 50 gram or too large which is more than 71 grams eggs should not be used so neither should be poor shield dirty or crack eggs so eggs which is uh, less than 50 grams excluded for incubation as well as 70 more than 71 grams also excluded for for incubation and of course we do not uh, include those poor shield egg as well as those dirty or crack eggs it should not be uh, considered for incubation okay another we have the incubation so when we say incubation so this is the uh, pag, sa manok, no? and of course there is a natural incubation and there is a artificial incubation so eggs may be naturally or artificially incubated the incubation period of fowl is 21 days on average. Fowl is uh, poultry, chickens. So natural incubations, the principal requirements for a sitting hen are a plenty of supply of clean drinking water, subsistent feed supply, protection against pests and diseases. So this are the consideration ang manok. So there should be a provision of uh plenty supply of drinking water and uh, subsequent feed supply protection against pests and diseases nest should be placed in some quiet cool corner at ground level 
and uh, should be enclosed so that hen can leave it only when permitted okay hen should be fed with grains and provided the fresh drinking water and a sand bath to which to dust herself okay what about the artificial incubation so large-scale commercial hatcheries equipped with various types of automatic or semi-automatic artificial incubators then during incubation the essential air conditions are that there should be sufficient oxygen in circulation to supply the needs of the growing embryo uh, carbon dioxide resulting from embryonic metabolism should not be accumulated relative humidity should be such as to follow not more than 10 percent of the water content of the egg to be lost and that temperature should be such that life within eggs is maintained at an optim optimal level so, so that's it the uh, during incubation okay incubating eggs should be preferably be turned at least six times daily so there should be a six times turning of egg up to 21 days so six times ang ang itlog bali baliho no the ones incubator but there are some incubators that are atom which has automatic rotation control so during the fourth and the seventh during the fourth and the seventh and fourteenth day incubation it is customary to check and remove all infertile eggs and those with dead embryos so uh, within uh, we have to do the candling candling and the fourth seventh and fourteenth day to remove those infertile eggs so uh, by by uh, subjecting the the egg to the light the makita doon kung sino yung fertile makita kasi yung embryo doon sa light pag wala embryo meaning to say non fertile egg remove that from the incubation chamber uh, this is done by candling no? this is accomplished by passing a beam of light through the egg so this is the process of candling okay this is done by candling which is done, accomplished by passing a beam of light through the egg and fertile eggs show up as clear so katong mga deliberter filter clear fertile uh, clear ang itlog we just these embryos are seen as dark usahay kung dead embryos it could be seen as dark in the beam of light okay again dead embryos are seen as dark spots a varying size and degree of density live embryos cast a cobweb like structure from a rejected blood visa so kung mga bertelit nga egg pag imong subject sa candling makita yung mga network na network of beans na uh, pula no na sayahang shell makita and it indicate that the eggs is fertile and has a greater chances of uh, becoming or hatching in, into a chick uh, yeah and after 21 days then the eggs will be hatched so brooding okay so so stop mga tayo dyan, then you have to continue on the next slide about brooding so there you have it there you have it so try to look at that once again yeah methods of selection family selection individual selection okay there are some characteristics for uh, considering stock to be considering chickens to be included in the stock or to be ex excluded on the stock we have the method of meeting you have the pin artificial plaque meeting hatching of eggs incubation okay so so we have to stop after that and we have to continue with another slide next time